Hey everyone, Fez here from Crypto Setups. Today I'm going to show you what Wormhole is. Now it's finally launched, there's a lot of excitement around this. It is a bridge that Solana has created that connects various chains together and as you can see on my screen the chains that you can bridge assets between is Binance Smart Chain, Ethereum, Solana and Terra. So in this tutorial I'm going to largely focus on moving UST across to different chains from Terra. Um, I will also cover, so first I'll show you from Terra to Solana. In my Solana wallet there is no UST, so it will be version 2, so this latest version of Wormhole, uh, and I'll get to what I mean by that in a moment. And then I will show you how to uh, add the assets on Binance Smart Chain, and if you have the old um, USDT on there, how you can migrate it to the Wormhole version of UST. So what am I talking about? As you know, in the past, if you used bridging solutions, they were um, via Terra Bridge and you could move it from Terra or from the other ecosystems back and forth. Now, these this is referred to in the guides that have been re released as via Shuttle because it's a private bridge, essentially. So um, when I talk about m migrating the old version, that is the the UST or Luna or any assets that have been migrated by the Terra bridge um, wormhole will automatically identify these assets in your wallet if they're on either side and and want to migrate it to the wormhole version which is essentially taking that asset and moving it via the same process so now it's um, officially moved via the wormhole bridge um, because that it has a different ticker different token if it goes via the wormhole bridge versus if it went via Terra bridge it's different so traditionally the old assets via the Terra bridge UST Luna anything like that would have had a W UST wrapped UST wrapped Luna on Ethereum similar thing to Binance Smart Chain um, what's different with the uh, wormhole bridge is it will have a W at the end of it but what I've noticed through my testing is when you add it in MetaMask and stuff it doesn't add a W anywhere so we'll, we'll again get to that in a moment so I think First things foremost, I, I've covered all of that. You know what the old stuff is, what the new stuff is, what's the difference between both the bridges. Let's dive into moving how you use Wormhole. And it's extremely simple. That's what I love about it. So first thing, you head on to the site. I'll have this in the show notes. What you want to do is select the source where you want to transfer from. In this case, let's just start again. Um, I want to move from Terra to a Solana wallet. So I'll hit connect it will prompt me great I am connected the next thing I want to do is select a token so this is my showcase wallet I'll put some UST in there so this is again from Terra to Solana and you know this bridge is finally open so I'm guessing there's going to be a lot of UST flooding into Solana so this is the one you want to know how to do and um, let's say I'm going to use five hit next now you can see as soon as I've done that it's switched to the target I don't want it to be Ethereum I want it to be Solana now one other thing I will highlight so if you were like me I tried to fidget in the wallet beforehand with Solana if you haven't added um, any tokens to it don't um, I have used the phantom wallet which I have created a tutorial for and I'll, I'll highlight while you're watching this video in case you haven't set up a Solana wallet before but make sure you have some Solana in your wallet okay it, what happens is if you don't have the certain tokens in there it uses a fee to register that token at times and this process will do it automatically which is great so make sure you just have some Solana in your Solana wallet before you start the transfer process and okay so here we go I've got Solana I will then click select wallet and you can see it gives you your list I'm gonna pick the one I have and then click connect yep See, this is what I was just talking about. It it doesn't have the associated token account the way the Solana ecosystem is. So I will click create and approve. And this is why if you didn't have Solana in there, you'd have some problems. Great, that's done. Let's hit next. 
So next thing we do is hit transfer and you can see it's moving it from here to Solana. And what it's telling me here is there is a next process, which is a redeem. So make sure you go all the way so that you don't have to then uh, search for things and do do the longer version. So let's let's hit confirm. And remember, of course, it's going to ask me for my um, Terra wallet sign in because you're moving it from Terra first. Great, it's done. And you see right away redeem. So let's click that. Loads up my Solana wallet. It'll do this a few times, that's normal. Even if you go through the instructions, it tells you this will happen. Great, done. Now let's take a look. There you go. You can see no official symbol, but now I have moved my UST from Terra into my Solana wallet. Okay. And that's that. Step one done. If now what I want to do is show you how to do this a similar process. It's exactly the same process for Binance Smart Chain and Ethereum. There's just a couple of differences um, with uh, and I'll focus on Binance Smart Chain. With Binance Smart Chain, one of the things you'll have to do is make sure um, you add the tokens to your wallet so that you can detect it, uh, the wallet picks it up. But from a transfer perspective, again, if you were doing it, all you would do is pick whichever chain you're moving it from. So um, again, Terra, let's say I pick UST and I put um, five destination, pick Binance Smart Chain, I'll connect, and you can see it's it's literally done this. And it's got a fee and, and things like that. It's the same process, very simple. But here's what we need to do, a couple of things we need to do beforehand. And I thought of some simple ways to really highlight it. So unlike Ethereum, Binance, you know, you need to import tokens and, and find a bit of information around it. So when you click import token, you need a contract address. Uh, what you want to do is head back to, and I'll have this in the show notes, they, they uh, published a great tutorial and there's quite a lot of content in there. So I'm hoping my tutorial will help just decipher this a little quicker. And what you want to do is add the address for um, the new UST. I'm, I'm moving across UST. So uh, let's add the address, the tokens for the new UST and the old UST I'm going to show you just in case you have that in your wallet. So then you can see what it looks like in your wallet. And I want to show you how the bridge picks it up automatically to do the migration that I talked about early in the video. So you can see in, in the uh, what they published here, are some of the addresses. So what we want to do is take the new, not the shuttle, the new, um, which is uh, V2 um, U USTW. And let's head on over to MetaMask where you add a custom token. As soon as you paste this address in, you can see it's popped up that information. Now you can see it defaults it. I, I don't change it anyway. Um, and then hit import. Now, what you've noticed here is as soon as I've hit import, I have five UST in here. This is the new one, hence it's popped up. If I had nothing, it would just stay zero. So the next thing I wanna do is I've got this, I know this is the new um, UST. Oh, and remember I talked to you, if you were using about, if you're using this bridge, um, it would give you another UST, which is usually the WUST, not USTW, wrapped UST. So let me, a quick way to get that address, if you didn't know what that token address was, just, just head on here, pick Binance Smart Chain and copy this. See how it's saying, whichever token you pick over here, it'll let you copy that particular address of that chain you're moving it to. So I'll copy Binance Smart Chain, come back here, import, and you can see see right away there's a difference. It's labeled the same symbol, but it is got a different ticker. That's okay. Let's say you do it this way. You haven't changed the names. And um, well, how do you tell them apart? Okay, so we've added them. Great. Now let's head on over back to the wormhole bridge. And this time what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to refresh this. I'm going to pick Binance Smart Chain. 
okay and I'm gonna connect to it and I'm gonna select my token now I have this is a showcase wallet I have all these tokens that I've never heard of obviously someone's been spamming it but you can see as I'm scrolling through right away the legacy asset it, it just picks it up in your wallet and this tells me this is the old UST this is the shuttle UST that was bridged across across via the Terra bridge um, uh, application and if you keep scrolling down you'll see oh, I have this UST 5 it's not prompting me here but I know okay that means this is the UST that I moved across while I was testing everything out for the tutorial great so let's I want to migrate this old UST to the new UST as soon as I pick it instead of notice before we would go to target it's not doing that it gives you go to migration page and all you need to do is I have four so I want to pick four migrate four there we go So let's have a look now, head back here, and you can see I no longer have the old UST, I have nine, so there we go, now I know, you know, it's done. So those are, that's a quick way to use Wormhole. So. I've covered off those two things now with Ethereum. Ethereum works pretty much the same way. You just literally add the token. Um, it will show you this process when just like if you were connected to Ethereum it, and you had some UST in your wallet, which I haven't set this up. But if if you had the old UST that was transferred over via Terra Bridge, it would let you um, it would flag it and you can migrate it. The only difference with Ethereum is because MetaMask can actually pick up the tokens, you may notice it in your wallet. You don't have to usually go through the adding process or it's far simpler to add those tokens in there. But again, the, the, if I haven't covered anything off, there's definitely everything is covered in detail. The one component I have not covered off is the wormhole. If you had UST via wormhole version one on in your Solana wallet, I haven't shown you how to migrate that in this tutorial. I just didn't have that, so I couldn't couldn't show an example but again the tutorial does have pictures and it's very similar it picks up the old it tells you to migrate you just click a couple of buttons and you're done but that's all for this tutorial I really hope um, this has helped ease some of those variations and especially understanding the differences between the two bridges the final part of this is I've only covered how you move assets there are certain assets your mirror assets things like that I haven't covered that. They there is plans to migrate that. They will announce that soon. Um, they they're going to do essentially all the liquidity. The goal is to migrate it via this um, bridge so that the assets are the same token, etc. And eventually, the Terra bridge itself. Um, if you use it, it will use Wormhole in the background rather than the current bridging process it uses. So there's a lot of information in the tutorial there. Um, but overall, this is how if you want to get your UST on Solana, for example, and partake in some of the dApps that are launching, I, I believe there are a few on there you want to get on there, you can now and this is how you do it. Thanks everyone for watching. Please like, subscribe, share this. If if you have any recommendations and want to see me um, create tutorials around certain topics, please let me know and I will do that for everyone. But really appreciate you taking the time to watch this tutorial. Take care, everyone.